All right. So I think uh, we're just going to go ahead and get started. What do you think? Sounds good. Yeah. Looks like we have a lot of people already. So good evening, everyone. And actually, good morning to some of you from uh, who lives in Asia. Thank you so much for being here today. Welcome back to our third student solo piano concert series. For those who do not know me, my name is Shireen Mustafa, and this is Matt Friedland. We are the owners of a music studio located in Tempe, Arizona, United States of America. It's called Music Lessons Arizona. 大家早安,欢迎各位贵宾来到我们的第三届的学生独奏钢琴音乐会系列。对于不认识我的人,我的名字叫Shirin Mustafa,他叫Matt Friedland,我们是在美国亚利桑那州Tempe市的一间音乐学校的经理,叫做亚利桑那音乐班。and I am excited to introduce you to our performer today. If you received my email, I call today's concert as the Caroline's show because she is a character and she's going to talk. And I'm just really excited for all of that. Um, she is only seven years old, but when you hear her talk, she is like 17 or 27. So you... <laughs> you will be the judge. <laughs> Her name is Caroline and she will be performing piano pieces composed by a Russian composer named Dmitry Kavalevsky. Um, in just a little bit, Caroline will be giving you a brief background about the pieces and she will perform and talk to you about a little bit about the composer also. And 今天很高兴能为您介绍我的学生，他今年七岁，他的名字叫做吴凯瑞，他即将演奏一组俄罗斯作曲家呃，Dmitry 呃，Before the concert begins, out of respect to the audience members and performer and Cat Caroline, please mute yourselves. The chat box will be available if you would like to communicate through that. I will also type each piece's title in the chat box for you. 在音乐会开始之前呢，出呃出于对听众和表演者的尊重，请保持安静。您可以使用Zoom的聊天室来打字，我也会在聊天室中为您打每一个作品的标题。那现在。Without further ado, please welcome Caroline. Hello everyone, thank you for coming to my concert today. Before I start, let me briefly introduce Dmitry Kabalovsky. Kabalovsky is a famous composer and pianist. He was born in 1904 and died in 1987 in Russia. Kabalovsky's music came from folk music and many of his pieces are song-like melodies, so it's easy to understand. Kabalovsky has lots of efforts to connect children to the world of music. Kabalovsky has wrote many sets of piano pieces for children. The 24 little pieces are one of them, which I will play today. I hope you enjoy my concert. Thank you.
Thank you. 
have a special treat for you. Since it's holiday season and it's almost Christmas, me and my sister are going to play a Christmas song for you called Carol of the Bell. My sister is called Cassie and she just turned four years old. We wish you have a happy holiday and Merry Christmas. Now let's welcome Cassie. All right. I think that that was that was fantastic. I, I think Car uh, Carolyn, you're done, right? Is that it? That's the show, right? It's in Taiwan, huh? Okay. So yeah, huge congratulations to you, Caroline. Um, it was a wonderful performance, and I am so proud of you. Um, Wu Kairai, 恭喜你，这是一场很精彩的演出，老师为你很骄傲。Um, Caroline has been studying with me for a little bit over a year. So six months into our in-person lessons, the pandemic happened, and then so we switched over to the virtual lessons since then. And despite the virus and what's going on right now with the world, she continued to pursue her passion in piano and in in, in music and committed to uh, put this concert together because we talked about it long before and and she's like, yeah, I want to do this. I want to do this. And and so, you know, this is really not an easy thing to do for a seven year old. But I'm just really, really proud of um, your accomplishment. And, you know, not everybody can memorize all four, 24 pieces and put a performance for like over 20 minutes long. So. 吴凯瑞跟我呃学钢琴大概有一年多的时间，他在我的音乐学校上了大概六个月的时间之后，那个疫情就开始发生了，所以我们就把那个钢琴教学给他移到网络上去。那尽管有这个病毒的事情，他还是有继续想要呃。追求呃弹钢琴的有这个热情要去呃把这个钢琴给弹好，然后给你们呃做出今天的这这样子的音乐会。呃，其实这件事情不是一件很很容易的事情，特别是他只有七岁而已，所以老师真的是很很为你高兴，呃呃做出这么好的。一场演出，然后老师也是，呃呃，为你感到很骄傲。